See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. Trevor, how big a change is this week in terms of compared to what's gone before? I don't think it's a change. I think it's important that we keep the sort of momentum going. Obviously, it's a change of competition, but it gives a lot of other players, guys that have been in the 23 on the bench, an opportunity to start the game, which is a different prospect altogether than just coming off the bench. And a good opportunity for some of the academy players. And, you know, extra are the LV champions. So we've got to make sure that we respect the opposition this weekend because it's going to be a tough task. And obviously, as you say, some changes enforced by the internationals, but there is obviously the option to rotate a little bit more than that. Do you and the rest of the coaching staff know which way you're likely to go as yet? Oh, we've, we've picked the team. We pretty much know um, who's come back from, from the international camps. And it's important to give players rest that have done a lot of um, minutes over the first eight games. And uh, like I said, it's an opportunity for those that have played a little bit, a bit of A-League games, and also to look at what's coming out of the academy. So um, we've got a strong outfit. There's no doubt about that. It's a strong team that's out there. And uh, we're, we're looking to push forward you know, another step in terms of where we're looking to go and our progression. And arguably, because you've all been trying to implement a plan and sort of get that plan working for, if you like, the first choice players, there hasn't been as many opportunities perhaps to rotate as people would have liked so far. Well, no, we're trying to just you know, work with a settled team, probably. We're trying to introduce new things on a weekly basis. We can't just sort of chuck a playbook at everyone, expect them to implement it. So that continuity has been important for the first eight games. Um, and, you know, it's probably we haven't rotated as much as we would have liked because. You know, that's going to make us a, probably a weaker team for those first eight, eight games. So we've got to make sure that we give this opportunity to the players that have just sat on the bench and have played daily. You already touched on it, Exeter, defending champions um, on their own patch, not going to be easy, but do you feel like perhaps you owe them something after they came to Kings on and won? Well, I don't think it's about owing them anything. It's, it's learning the lessons from what went on in that game. And, uh, you know, they're a, they're a strong outfit. You know, the set piece is obviously incredi incredibly important. That's where the game got away from us when Exeter come up to Kingsome. And if you go back six months, that's where we won the game down at Sandy Park um, back, in, back in March was through the set piece. So that's going to be, it's going to be crucial. And then it's the enthusiasm and energy to get around the field to stop them from playing. How pleased have you been with the way that the scrum's been going this year? Well, it's, you get excited by one scrum, you get upset by another one. You know, to try and get anything out of a scrum nowadays, to try and play off a scrum, is becoming incredibly difficult. Everything either ends up in a penalty, a reset, or a free kick. Um, so, you know, we're, we're working towards where we want to be. Is it perfect? No. I don't think there is any picture that's perfect. So, but you know, going away to uh, you know Orinax, places like that where they're tough you know, big French forwards pack and, and coming away with, you know, a good victory there, you know, puts us in a good stead and a good learning curve for where we are as a group. Well, as defending champions, just how much pride is going to go into the Exeter performance? And I suppose to beat them down there, you've got to more than match that, haven't you? Well, of course you have. You could see the excitement of from the Exeter players and, you know, supporters last year that, you know, their short time in the Premiership to come away with an LV victory, how much it meant to them and how much they have moved forward and how much we've got to respect them as an opposition. So, you know, it's, it's not going to be easy. And, uh, you know, we fully respect them and we've got to make sure that we, uh, you know, worry about what we're doing and make sure that we're accurate and we bring that intensity and that physicality that's going to match them down at their place.